back in 2013 when the Xbox One first originally debuted and Don Matrix trotted around the stage like a rooster high on cocaine, letting you know that if you didn't want to always be online with your Xbox, then you may as well stick with the 360 because the Xbox One doesn't support used games. It's, it's important that people share their ideas. I think people are imagining outcomes that are worse than what we believe it's going to be in the real world. Right. A few moments later. Arguably gone the other way if we didn't do it. And fortunately, we have a product for people who aren't able to get some form of connectivity. It's called Xbox 360. Right. So stick with 360. That's your message if you know well, if you don't like it. If, if you have zero access yeah. to the Internet, that is an <laughs> offline device. I yeah. mean, seriously. Fuck you! And all sorts of other intrusive DRM crap, like, oh, only being able to work with a Kinect. They were pretty much shitting down your throat and telling you it was delicious butter biscuits. Collectively, the community told the Xbox One division to suck a dick. Don Matrix was obviously fired and replaced with Mr. Phil Spencer that everyone treats like he's fucking Jesus. But in typical console fanboy fashion, it doesn't matter what the company does, they will support it to the bitter end. See, the problem with blind loyalty is you can't see the forest for the trees. Fuck, you can't even see the trees. You can't see three feet ahead of you. That's how blind you are to the system. Good old Crack Gamer sees the new Xbox Scarlet information popping out and decides to tout what a victory this is going to be for Microsoft. That's right, kiddies. Now you can stream your games to a Microsoft system. Granted, they have two consoles, but really this is a proving ground. One will be the normal console and the other one will be a cheaper streaming box and they want to see if they can sell your ass on the motherfucking cloud again. If I was an Xbox gamer, the cloud would be the last thing I wanted to fucking hear about. The cloud is supposed to do great shit since the dawn of damn time. The cloud's gonna lower taxes. The cloud's gonna make the Xbox One do 1080p 60 FPS. Fuck you, Sony. The cloud has been the king of empty promises since the beginning. And now they're promising you the ability to stream games that they will have full control over. And instead of the Xbox fan base going, this seems a little fishy, I think I'll stick to the hard console. They're supporting this ridiculous idea. And I'm pretty sure the average console gamer will then turn around and say to me, Gundam, Steam is DRM. Yeah, but whatever the fuck happens, I can play my Steam games offline, number one. Two, if any game changes, like Rockstar changed GTA 4, it took out all the old music. Guess what happened? I modded back in the old music. I could do that. Your Xbox will not give you that ability. This is more along the lines of trying to coax you into giving up more control and power over your purchases. You don't own the game, you are owning a license. The whole point of the streaming cloud is so they can kill off used games completely. And it's all money. It's all bread. And instead of, you know what, let's just listen to Crap Gamer because he's got the down low. This guy always knows what's up. All you need is smile. And lots of smiley smiles Your sweet pink mouth Goes north, not south And just smile Cocaine's a hell of a drug <laughs> So obviously yesterday The internet was all abuzz With this talk of Xbox Scarlet Xbox Scarlet Cloud The idea that we're going to be able to f Buy you know, a, a local piece of hardware that's going to be a beast of a machine and probably do 4K. How do you know this crap? You know, the, the rumor mill on this tells us jack shit, except there'll be a hard console and there'll be a streaming box. How the fuck do you know it's going to be a beast and do 4K? How do you know? You don't. You don't know. I'm surprised you know how to wipe your own ass. 60. Oh, we're going to be able to buy a streaming device as low as $150. Now, where did he get this $150 shit from? No, I can't find anything saying that this streaming device is going to be $150. This is wishful thinking right now. Because if it has to play games locally and stream, I think it will require a bit bigger of a price tag. Especially if this console is supposedly going to stream games at 1080p60 or most likely the average... Xbox fanboy scream will do 4K. Do you know how much bandwidth that is? You need to have a seriously good internet connection to stream that much data. It's ridiculous. It's gonna let us stream games v 
via their Azure cloud network that they're setting up and putting into place and probably going to be ready by 2020. Uh, obviously, the talk of the town. So clearly, developers are going to weigh in on this, and that's exactly what we did. Who are the developers that weighed in on this crap? And the funny thing is, is we get a developer who's talking just like how I sounded uh, when I was talking about some of my thoughts on the subject. Because Crap Gamer has his finger on the pulse of the gaming community. The difference between Crab Gamer and Michael Pactor is Michael Pactor is right more often. Which were that Microsoft wasn't really going after Sony as much as they were preemptively going after places like Google and Amazon. And that's where this video comes into play because Microsoft, realistically, and I've said this for a long time and I know people don't believe it, Microsoft doesn't view Sony as competition. They don't view Nintendo as competition. They view those people as partners. What the is this? Watch your profanity. Right, I'm sorry. Yeah, that sounds about right. Microsoft doesn't view Sony or Nintendo's competition, they're partners. I guess Yamaha Motorcycles thinks the same of Ducati and Honda. Makes sense now. I've been living life completely wrong. Right, those are partners from Microsoft. Whether they're using Simply Gone, which Microsoft owns, whether they're using Azure, which Microsoft owns, whether they're using, you know, playing Minecraft, which Microsoft owns. Microsoft looks at them as partners, and I think that's the key element to all of this. And I think that that's something that a lot of people uh, don't take for granted and it going forward uh, into the future of gaming. And so um, what we're going to see Microsoft actually compete with is the cloud services that both Google and Amazon have and offer. That's what Microsoft is competing with, and I think that's what people need to realize when they go forward and they think of the competition that Microsoft views. From what I understood of Google streaming games and shit, it's going to be something like on the level of a mobile device, last I recalled. I can't find the article, and I'm not going to look because, frankly, after listening to Crap Gamer talk, I don't have much faith in humanity. On top of that, if Microsoft is setting their sights there, they're probably going to get the shit kicked out of them. Like they just got the shit kicked out of them by PlayStation, for God's sakes. Right. So we know that it looks like Google's getting into some kind of cloud streaming. Um, and we know that Amazon potentially could get into cloud streaming and they have developers. So that's what Microsoft is trying to compete with. You know, all this worry about cloud streaming for Amazon and Google, what the fuck does it matter? I wouldn't worry too much about Amazon right now because let's face it, everyone has been sitting back and thinking about, wait till Amazon puts out their streaming service. It's going to be competitive for YouTube and we'll all be able to go there and make real money and Amazon will save all of us video creators. That shit's been said for the past three or four years now and there's nothing on the fucking horizon. I bet the same will be the case for Amazon's screaming game service. And if anything, it'll be mobile device level bullshit. Um, not Microsoft. And I think that the fact that, you know, may, have you guys ever seen the movie Tombstone, right? Uh, movie, great movie from... At this point, Crap Gamer filibusters and telling you about the movie Tombstone. Some shit with Val Kilmer and Billy Bob Thornton. Some garbage you don't even remember. As Val Kilmer and, and obviously the Billy Bob Thornton angle would be Sony, right? They don't even care that they're there. And this developer is pretty much agreeing with that sentiment that Microsoft is so far ahead of Sony that it's not even funny. They're not even on the same level. Microsoft is not worried about Sony because Sony doesn't have the infrastructure for cloud that Microsoft has. And that is where Microsoft is putting all their bets, all their money. And I think that is what um, Sony doesn't have the ability to do. And Basically, to summarize, Crap Gamer believes that... Xbox has got the leg up on Sony somehow. I, I guess uh, he must have been witnessing a different console generation than you and me because it looks like Sony has choked Xbox the fuck out in the Hell in a Cell match, picked it up and threw it out the goddamn arena. But Crap says <laughs> Microsoft is, doesn't even see Sony as a threat. Okay, Crap, whatever you say. So Microsoft is going to focus on cloud streaming games. And if it's anything like the Xbox Game Pass with those scary great titles like State of Decay 2, that game's real fun. Nobody gives a shit about it anymore because it's fucking empty. And of course, Sea of Thieves. The game's so good, the Kraken doesn't even need a body, my dude. That's how good the game is. <laughs> because for some reason, they didn't think anyone would swim underwater to look at the fucking Kraken. Get the fuck out of here. 
That's the sort of shit games and service is going to do to you. They're going to put out half-baked, empty-ass games, rushing them to market, and streaming it to you. And that will be what you're fucking paying for. That will be the future if we support this sort of stupid shit. But Crab Gamer, remember, this is the man who said the best new IP of the year was motherfucking Sea of Thieves. His head is so far up Microsoft's ass, I can't even come up with an analogy. I can't. I got nothing. What am I going to do? Say he vomits Windows keys? Because it's not funny. It's sad. This guy is shilling for this crap. He's sitting there touting it like it's some good thing. Like Microsoft is on to some shit that's really great. And frankly, if you don't see the long-term implications here, if you're not looking at the long game, you're only going to be disappointed at time. And if you think I'm joking, if you're younger than me, you're going to look back on days like this in the next 10, 15 years, and you're going to go, wow, games are so much better during PlayStation 4 and Xbox One X. Now you can't even press the start button without paying 50 cents. For Sony, if you're just going off of what Microsoft's going to be able to offer. I said this on BGST. I said, you know what? If Sony's just going more traditional and they're like, well, we've got, you know, we've sold 35 million PS5s. You know, Microsoft at, at that point next gen might be going, we've reached, you know, 1 billion gamers. Like, which one's better? Knowledge. Fucking ridiculous. I can't even watch the rest of this video. I watched it once and I'm done. Good for you, crap. Go ahead, bang that drum for this fucking DRM-ridden shit.